When we were designing bubble dentistry, there were a few things that were very, very important. One, that this was a relaxing, comfortable space. Two, that it just yelled fun at you. We are changing the paradigm of children's dentistry, and it was very important that we had light, space, modern, convenient. Those are the things that were pivotal. The entire process of building bubble dentistry was challenging. It was challenging because there were so many new novel concepts having nothing to do with a dental office. I have full-blown aquarium. I have a range of sea creatures flowing throughout the practice. And out of that thought, making it easy, that it was destination dentistry, that it really became a place to go to rather than a place to dread going to. When we were designing bubble dentistry, the equipment and the technology were very important. I wanted clean, state-of-the-art, not scary looking, we had to be streamlined. And I wanted the most modern equipment. I wanted a completely digital platform in, in as many ways as we could provide it. So when we were designing the office, we chose ADAC. Um, and the reason is it has such good quality, but it's also the design feature in it. They have more products now than they've ever had in their line. And we could find just the right fit and price point for the practice. They worked with us to make things clean and organized looking. It really flowed with the whole theme of the practice. I have been a dentist for nearly 30 years and we treated children in my flagship practice. What I have come to realize is that children aren't miniature adults. They have so many more needs and, and differences and growth and opportunity. And when we created Bubble, I took all that into account. And I'll tell you one way that I know we struck it right is the difference when children walked into my flagship practice, into my marble floored, beautiful, quiet reception area, perfect for mom and dad. No excitement, no joy. They were going to the dentist, perfunctory activity. We treated them nicely. When children come into Bubble, and the first thing they see outside on the sidewalk, bringing that community outside, inside, is Clark the Shark. And Clark the Shark is there for your high five. He's there to welcome you. He has a little chalkboard with a message of the day, just to cheer up whether you're coming into my space or not. As you walk through, the first thing you see is the live moon jellyfish. You know, it's calming, it's pretty, it's cool. You walk through a tunnel, which is actually our ADA ramp. But why does it have to look like an ADA ramp? It's the entrance to Atlantis. So from the moment that parents and their children come into the space, we hear, <sighs> it's just different. And it was intentioned to be different. We invite people to come and we get people who come off the street who look through the window and like, what are you? Do you mind if I look around? If we put a smile on somebody's face, we've done our job for the day.